for the first several years using Twitter, I thought Twitter was useless. So you might ask, what did I actually accomplish on Twitter and what did I learn from that? And what can you take away from it? On Twitter, I had a very successful SEO endeavor that allowed me to rank very first number one with a new website on a competitive Facebook term called Facebook Page Likes. It was a very good term for SEO and I got several orders directly in through organic search traffic. It was my first big SEO victory. I was so happy and I did all of it on Twitter. So here's how I did it. I first made an exact match domain, facebookpagelikes.com, which Facebook then uh, sent me the legal notice I would be removing that domain or I could face a lawsuit. So I did drop the domain eventually. I made my first page, facebookpagelikes.com, that had been an exact domain name match for a profitable term. The problem was I couldn't rank very easily on it. I didn't have any links to it. So back in 2012, Google was indexing Twitter tweets and they worked really good for SEO and Google may be indexing those again soon by the time you see this. So what I did, I gave some offer to give free Facebook page likes out if people would retweet me and I created a tweet, something like get Facebook page likes with hashtags and then facebookpagelikes.com and I sent out messages to people I saw who were looking for more likes or who were telling people on Twitter to like my page, like my page. So I just hit them with a at message saying, oh, well maybe you'd like to go here and I'll give you free ones if you retweet it. So I messaged hundreds of people on both of my Twitter accounts with direct messages matched exactly by search results. So I'd search for people saying, like us on Facebook. I'd find that person or that Twitter account for a company and say, reply. If you want more likes on Facebook, especially Facebook page likes, then you can get them at facebookpagelikes.com, retweet to get free ones. So I got tons of retweets on it and I got lots of engagement and then my Twitter profile got suspended. Same story across lots of things. So I got my Twitter, both Twitter profiles suspended, my own personal one and my company one. I got them both suspended doing that. Meanwhile, the FacebookPageLikes.com went from nowhere to be found up to number one on the Google organic search results. I pulled in several orders for hundreds of dollars totally without doing any work other than just building the website. The orders came in automatically. I didn't even have to message them. They searched Facebook page likes, went straight in and bought. So from an SEO standpoint, this was very successful. I got both of my Twitter accounts reinstated by promising not to do it again. And then I haven't done it again since then. So the thing is using a strategy like this on Twitter, just brute force, even if it's very niche targeted, connecting with people in a way that's just trying to force people to your website and using a manipulative tool like, oh, I'll give you free likes if you retweet this. When I didn't really give anyone free likes because my account got suspended and then I couldn't go through and see everything very well about who actually retweeted it for several days and then I just didn't follow through with it. And companies do that kind of stuff all the time with these giveaways, offering a free iPad or something, and then the iPad gets given to someone they already knew. And then no one who really engaged with the post on social media actually got anything out of it. So this taught me to stay away from free giveaways, and it taught me that gaming SEO results might work in the short term. It wasn't a good long-term strategy. Of course, now you'll notice Again, same thing that I share in other things. This worked so well that Facebook made sure to come to me and tell me that I would be dropping that domain or facing a lawsuit. So I did drop the domain. I don't know whether it was a real threat or not, but I did drop the domain. So now Google also at the same time around then changed their search rankings for an exact match domain. So soon enough, my rankings for the domain dropped Eventually, Facebook went in and actually got that website removed off of Google Sites where I had it hosted. So the reward 
for all this energy and stress getting my Twitter account profile suspended, sending out all these spammy messages, I made a few hundred dollars. I invested all this time and energy in it. I got the website removed off of the Google Sites. I, of course, had a backup. I could have copied it. And then I had to drop the domain. I got hit with a legal notice from Facebook. And what you can see out of this is that sometimes simply trying and really putting it out there will get you hit with all kinds of sanctions. So it's best if you can create straight with value in mind, as I share with you at the beginning of this. If you can create straight with value in mind and put that energy into where people want you to put it instead of selfishly putting it into just getting what you want. The first couple years of my business online, that's what I did. And you can see in these failures I share with you what you get out of selfishly just trying to share your content without genuinely considering what value you're offering to someone else. So if you've got your Twitter account profile suspended or you get hit with something similar in the future, you can get through it. And if you can learn out of it a better way to try and do things in the future, it can be a very good learning experience. So thank you for watching this and I hope this was useful for you.